Y'all asked for it, y'all got it. The cheapest 5,000 watt solar system. So easy, you can do it yourself. Okay, let's flip these battery breakers on. Boom, there it is, it's running. Okay, here's two of the EG4 48 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. This is gonna make a total of 400 amp hours at 48 volts. These batteries are monstrous and they cost about $1,500 each after tax. These lithium batteries are gonna be the most expensive thing in this project, totaling $6,000. This is 16 48 volt, 5,000 watts of solar panels bought off Facebook Market for $1,300. They've been wired in strings of four and brought down to this combiner box. We paid just a couple hundred dollars off Amazon to have this eight gauge wire ran down here to the combiner box. This combiner box is equipped with four fuses that each string of panels run into. This here is the main breaker for the power coming from the panels running down this line here under the house, up through the floor, and into the bottom of the inverter. All four batteries are connected together, the positive to the positive terminals and each negative to the negative terminals. This is a 200 amp T-class fuse as well as a DC breaker, both on the positive side before entering the inverter. Each battery has a communication wire that connects from one battery to the next and so on. There is also these dip switches. Each one must be set different than the other in order for the batteries to communicate with the inverter. This is the EG4 3000 watt inverter with a built-in charge controller. This is a very reliable all-in-one inverter and charge controller costing under $700. This inverter allows you to check the watts coming in from the panels, how much of the watts are being directed into charge your battery bank, and how much of the watts are running the electrical needs in your house. It also can tell you the state of charge for your battery bank, what percentage you're using, what percentage you have remaining, and much more. It's highly recommended that you put a piece of cement board across the wall to deflect any heat coming from the equipment. In the future, we'll be running a critical low panel breaker box that will be running all the necessities in the house. For now, the massive power of this system will be retained in this electrical strip and just running an air conditioner and fan for the moment. At this point, the air conditioner and the other appliances are able to run 24 hours a day without draining the batteries below 50%. And each day, the batteries are completely recharged 100% by noon. I'll put links to the equipment I used in this video in the description.